Welcome to Murfreesboro, Tennessee, home of the Stones River National Battlefield, Middle Tennessee State University, the Geographic Center of the State, and the Rutherford County 4-H Goat Club. The Goat Club is one of the largest livestock groups in the Rutherford County 4-H program. Over the past year, Extension Agent Michael Shirley has been working hard to develop more hands-on science experiences for the 4-Hers to use throughout the project. In October of 2008, he announced to the 4-Hers that they were going to learn how to use artificial insemination to improve their goat herds at home. When he asked for members to donate a doe to AI, two 4-Hers volunteered. Meet Tanner Herring. Tanner is a 5th grader at Barfield Elementary School. He and his family have been members of the 4-H Goat Club for two years. Tanner raises and shows meat goats that are mostly boar crosses. Tanner is also responsible for caring for the family's other pets. Hi, I'm Tanner Herring and I'm 11 years old and I go to Barfield Elementary School. I joined 4-H last year when my next door neighbor's goats had kids. So I got the goat and I had to train it and walk it and everything. And so after a while, she finally got used to it. In four months, I finally got into my first show. Fifth grader Suzanne McMullen and her family live in Arrington, Tennessee. They have a herd of La Mancha dairy goats that they milk daily and use the milk to make soap, lotion, and laundry detergent. Suzanne's daily responsibilities include feeding the goats, horses, chickens, and the occasional puppies. The first step in the AI process was for each family to select the buck that they wanted to use to breed their doe. Once Tanner and Suzanne had each selected the buck that they wanted to use, the semen was purchased and the next activity was to participate in an AI wet lab that was set up by Dr. Ann Peischel. Dr. Ann is the small ruminant specialist at Tennessee State University. During this wet lab, 4-Hers learned about the structure and function of the reproductive system in the female goat. Each 4-H'er was able to practice using the equipment needed to AI their goat, as well as dissect a goat uterus to identify the parts of the structure. A few weeks later, the first big day had arrived. The 4-H Goat Club met at the McMullins farm to artificially inseminate Tanner and Suzanne's goats. Now all there is to do is wait 40 days to see if the goats became pregnant. Forty days later, the group has reconvened again for another big day. We're about to ultra, ultrasound on goat. And how are you feeling? My goat. I'm feel, I feel really excited. <laughs> All right. And I think she does too. The 4-H Goat Club met at the Rock and Country Veterinary Hospital in College Grove, Tennessee. Dr. Jennifer Hatcher agreed to ultrasound our 4-H'ers goats to see if they were pregnant. Can everybody see this? I'll, I'll pause it on there. She, unfortunately, is open. Oh. Really? Okay. This right here, see that that little spot? That's her ovary, and that's a follicle on her ovary. Hmm. No, she is open. No baby. Mm -hmm. yeah, sorry, Nikki. Sure well, we saw the ultrasound, and there's no baby. We're disappointed a little bit, right? But we'll try again next year. We still have a bucket home, so we know we still can get her pregnant. But the experience of going through the AI and everything was really cool, wasn't it? It was really neat. Yeah, we learned lots. Unfortunately, the second ultrasound showed that Tanner's goat was not pregnant either. In an earlier interview, Tanner shared how he would handle the negative news. Well, um, I'm not going to be there, but Thursday night, I know I'm going to be a little nervous. and I mean, I... I understand that she's not going to have a baby because God planned it that way, but if she does, I'll be happy, excited. Although the AI program did not yield any pregnant does, all of the participants learned a great deal about the reproductive cycle of goats. The Rutherford County Goat Club plans to repeat the program in the fall of 2009. As for Tanner and Suzanne's goats, they were both bred naturally the week after the ultrasound and are expecting to kid the first week in May.